My name is Caleb Wheeler, and I worked with Brandon O, Nathan Cohen, and Connor Burkowski for the visual tracking project in spring 2022 for ECE 592. Our objective was to use a drone to visually track a target as it moved around on the ground. Our overall approach was to mount a webcam at a 45 degree angle facing downwards and keep the drone at a constant altitude and always facing north. That way, any movement of the object up and down in the field of view of the camera corresponded to movement along the ground in the X and Y axes respectively. We divided the camera feed up into nine different portions. If the object was in the top middle rectangle of the frame, the drone would issue a go-to command two meters north. If it were in the bottom right rectangle, it would issue a go-to command two meters south and two meters east, and so on. This approach was coded up by Nathan in only an hour while out at the testing field. We used a CSRT tracker that latched onto and followed any object around very well. This meant that even if other similar objects passed in front of the object of interest, the tracker still maintained a lock on the correct object. This tracker was found and modified by Connor at the very beginning of the project to get us started. Our project was not without hiccups. In fact, one of the biggest challenges we had even before we started flying was that the software required to download onto the Jetson TX2, which we were using for image processing, control, and communication, was a special release which took hours to find the correct version. Brandon pulled a full all-nighter with only an hour and a half of sleep the entire night to get this all set up the day before our first test flying day. Another big roadblock was that our first approach worked very well in the simulated environment, but once we tested it out in the field, even a slight breeze made it completely unusable and it drifted downwind away from the object as soon as it started to try to track it. This was very disheartening, but thankfully we persevered to create a fully functional demo by the end of the class. Overall, we were extremely pleased with the results of our project. We were able to track every object we tried, whether it was a beach towel laid on the ground, our professor wearing a towel like a toga, an umbrella, or even just a person. We were also able to keep a lock on the object of interest even while other objects passed in front of it, which was very exciting. We are very thankful for everything we learned in this class and are excited to have gained experience in a technology that has numerous applications well beyond photography and videography. Thank you for watching.